Hello everyone, welcome you all. Today I am going to discuss about TestNG prioritization as part of TestNG framework tutorial series. So let's get started. So what is a prioritization in TestNG? So which is a way to provide a sequence to methods so that they do not run out of order. So which means when you face any issue with respect to the order of execution that you have uh, three test cases or ten test cases and the order of execution was uh, conflict like uh, 10th uh, test case is executing first and first test case is executing last so if you face such kind of issues in your test ng framework so do follow this prioritization and priority in test ng test cases is a parameter with an attribute called parameter i mean priority so using this priority only you can give any value so that it will be executed in order and here you have a example code uh, example where it has a test which is a test case and it is a method and where you write here code and uh, in the test uh, at the red test annotation you have a parameter called priority and this priority can be so here we have some rules to follow so rules are priority value should be should be an int type so you should know you should you always need to provide int value only you cannot provide any characters and you can provide should be minus values minus one minus two zero one two so you can provide minus two plus values and if the priority is zero which means it is a default one so you can it can run any of the alphabetical order so which which runs an alphabetical order and these are the rules that we need to follow if you are uh, trying to provide a priority so let's jump into the eclipse tool and we'll see how can we leverage this priority test case so here I have a project testng project under that uh, we have uh, test cases designed in the previous tutorial and we have few test cases under it and if you wanted to provide any prior priority you can provide here and this is this test cases has a default priority set to zero so that it will be executed based on the alphabetical order so let's quickly run this program to showcase you how, how it is going to run here It has initiated a WebDriver Chrome. So here the, it has executed three different cases. And if you see the verify abort section, verify maven and verify support. So it has executed based on the order of V's given here. So here we have, if you see abort is an alphabetical order A, then after we have M, maven and then we have S. So there is some times where you have almost similar kind of uh, method names then it will be a conflict for you. So now I will show you if you provide here. Priority and the priority rules you should follow it's an integer type and you should given you can given a positive negative values also you cannot provide a negative like alphabetical like b or a then you can see an error coming up see here it says b cannot be resolved as a variable so you have to provide a integer values which is a 0 minus 1 plus 1 and here it's set to 0 that means there is no priority applicable here so it will execute based on the alphabetical order now if you wanted to provide any other priority again to the next test case so here if I give this as priority 1 then my first priority goes to the 0 its index where it will execute this about verify about then it will come to a verify maven. So I, I wanted to execute this maven first then after I wanted to execute this verify about. So for that already we have given priority 0 for verify about and I wanted to give here as minus which means minus 1 comes before this 0 so our maven will execute first then after you will see I am not giving any uh, priority here so it will execute 
after these two test cases about and maven then it is go to support so let's quickly run our test ng test it has launched the web driver chrome and uh, launched the website it has executing the test cases now you can see here here the order of execution it has saying verify maven passed then after verify about then you have verify support so this is based on the priorities that we given so if you wanted to verify support first then you can provide priority minus two but ideally we will we I mean, when we are trying to code any uh, functionality or any test cases we usually provides based on the order so here I wanted to provide a priority equal to 3 and here my priority equal to 1 and this will be my second priority so I prefer not to give any negative values here so always provide the a numbering with positive so that you will have a control on what priority that you are giving so let's quickly run as maven test I mean test, test ng test so I have changed the priority order so it will execute as per the priorities that I have given in the test cases now you can see it has executed you can see the priority one was maven verify maven here the priority maven and uh, next one it goes to verify support so verify support is given as the priority two and uh, here you have verify about similarly the verify about is given as a priority three so this is how you perform the priorities in case if you wanted to skip any of the uh, execution then you can provide so I wanted to skip this skip I wanted to skip this priority one and I will say enable equals to false false and I will say again run as test ng test so this this has to be a very much uh, uh, place important role when you work on bunch of test cases like more than 100 and 200 test cases and above that because the priority takes a major role when you are working like this kind of environment where you have some dependent test cases or the priority test cases here you can see there are two executions happen even though we have given a priority equal to 2 and enable equal to false it has not executed this and uh, the next priority goes to about so this is the way you can follow in your actual the framework structure when you have any conflict with execution of this uh, priorities so in case if you want uh, additional like uh, I mean I wanted to execute without this priority so there might be a situation where you don't want to provide priorities and you wanted to execute them in a orderly so for that uh, what I will show so let me open this test ng xml here so here uh, we have some methods here so let me uncomment this lines and uh, let me format it correctly So here you have uh, includes include and exclude include include so you go back to here and uh, copy so in the order of we provide right we provide this in the similarly it will execute based on that so whatever the order that we provide include exclude so it will execute based on the same order and let's quickly run this test ng suit about support and maven I think I have to I haven't removed this uh, the priorities from here so let's remove because it is overriding our include exclude excludes so I will remove this priorities from here save and go back to test ng xml and again right click run as test ng suit so 
now you can see it has executed first the abort then after it has verified a support which is a official group link is displaying then after it has executed the maven so here you have little confusion right let's go back to our test cases let's add some sysouts I will say number one for quick reference so I don't want to add much uh, here so I'll just for quick reference I will just give only numbers okay let's save and come back to test ng xml and here I will execute this run as suit I think I have given that uh, one of the sysout in uh, uh, before test that's the reason it has executed all before okay now you can see we have given a boat about selenium which is an uh, uh, two so let's go back here and uh, let's remove from here okay this should be three this should be two this should be one save and again come back run as test ng suit Because in the earlier execution, I have given the sysout for uh, before class. Now we can see the order of execution, whatever we have given, right? So we have given about and we have support and then after Maven. So Maven is a number two test case that has executed last. And uh, we have support, which is a third number, which has executed second. And uh, first test case is about. So this is how we provide the priorities. And in case if you don't want to uh, use the priorities, you can use the includes and excludes. And uh, you can follow to skip any test case, which is given as a priority. You can provide enable equal to false. I hope this session is useful for you. In case if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. So there are more videos are pipeline for test ng framework series thank you for watching